Now, um, for the uh, new strings, you first need to make a little um, knob like this, right? And this is called uh, the fly's head, right? Make a fly fly's head. Um, so this is going to <coughs> you make this this kind of knot so it can hold on to the rope, um, the silk rope on the other end of the uh, of the instrument. Now I'm going to teach you how to make this um, fly's head, right? So this is a a new string. Um, I'm looking for the other end. So usually there is a end that you are supposed to make the knot and then there is the other end that you are supposed to tie to the um, to the goose leg. Um, so that um, the end that is tied to the goose leg is the same as um, the most of the string. But the um, the end that you are supposed to make the uh, fly's head is a little bit different. It's uh, either a little bit thinner, or um, it is it has um, a special layer of cover on top of it. So now first, you know, make one little curve like that, right? So after you make that. <coughs> um, So first, what you need to make is something like that, right? I'm show, going to show you that. So next, <coughs> you make a circle. Then you put that circle on top of that and then pull it. So that's how you make a um, fly's head. Um, and um, in Professor Gong Yi's book, there is a good uh, illustration about how to make the fly's head. So I'm going to show you here. So you can pause the video and uh, look at that. So it's, uh, yeah, it's that one. That's how you make a fly's head. And it is in Professor Gong Yi's Gu Qin Yan Zou Fa, this book, right? So now I'm going to, um, I demonstrated one string for the fly's head. Now I'm going to do for the rest of the strings. So we are ready um, to put the strings on the instrument. So we have all seven strings fly headed. And I'm going, I'm going to show you. I line them up on the table. So from left to right, it's string number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's uh, very important to line it up neatly so that you won't confused because you don't want to put the string in a confused order. So I'm, I'm going to start with the uh, um, string number one, right? String number one. Um, and uh, so we will start with that one um, and uh, go on to the next. Okay, now I'm going to start putting on string one. As I said, you don't want to take the, you don't want to uh, take the old string off unless you are ready to put the new, um, the new string on. So now, we are ready to put, to put the, um, the new string on. So the way you do it is first, now this is the old string, and the old string is, um, you know, connected to the little rope here. So what I'm going to do is to use the old string to open up the loop of this silk rope a little 
and then put the new string in its place. All right. So now I can take the old string. Just pull the old string, pull the old string off. All right. So I pulled the old string off. Um, I would recommend um, actually um, to um, it's not a bad idea to do the whole to do the entire uh, replacement for the whole set before you go on to tighten the new string. So which which is what I'm going to do. So I put on the first string, and now I'm going to um, I'm going to replace the second string and I'm going to do it for the rest of the whole set. All right, I end up with half set of the strings um, tied to the fly's head and now I'm ready to put the first string to um, the goose leg. So um, what you need is a little um, stick with a hole at one end so that you can you can first rotate roll the string on this stick and then when and then unroll it onto the um the goods leg right um so and you should also figure out which direction you you put it so the principle for the two leg is you know, the strings on the left, le left leg, um, it is, you start from the inside. You know, they, they all start from the inside. So you rotate this way to the peg. And um, the other leg, you also start from inside, but it is um, a, an opposite direction. All right, so this one, it is kind of a, um, clockwise and then the other is counterclockwise. So when you roll it on the little peg, you need to make sure when you unroll it um, for this leg, when you unroll it clockwise, it will, it will unroll um, from the stick but then roll uh, to the peg, to the leg. All right? So I'm rolling it to this little peg, uh, to this um, little stick, All right? So before you start rolling it onto it, you want to check, uh, you want to check the, um, the pitch. So you want the pitch to be a little bit lower um, than the standard pitch, the desired pitch, so that you can adjust it. You don't want to make it higher. But then too low is also undesirable, which might mean um, you cannot reach the desired pitch. So for string number one, it should be um, C. All right, it should be uh, C2. It is like the, um, the second C from left on your piano keyboard. So I'm going to have that, um, let's see, have that C on this little um, pitch um, app. I'm going to have a C. Right? So it's a C. And I'm going to tie it to the leg. Um, you know, maybe A, maybe B, so that I can tie it like a minor third or a major third up to, de to reach the desired um, pitch. Now this is a C. You don't want to be, to, to, to be a C because that means then there's no room to adjust. So I will have it a slightly lower
So that's uh, roughly a meter second. So I'm going to tighten it on. So you need to hold the strength so it won't loosen. You don't want any um, kind of a ease up. You cannot let it go. You have to hold the strength, make sure the later circle is covering the earlier one. So when you tie it, it is going to tie it on its own. So sometimes I use my chin to hold it in place. It does not look very well, but it works. All right. So the last one, you want to go to the back of the string. So the principle is later rows cover the earlier row. So when you tighten it up, it becomes tighter and tighter. Right? Right? So it's, uh, I think the pitch is okay. So I'm going to tighten it a little to reach the desired. Uh, you can also do it after um, all strings are put on to adjust it together, but I sometimes like to um, adjust it, um, the first one, to make sure it is, it is locked in the, in the position.